If you're going to test the profundus, basically what the profundus does is it flexes the DIPs. Okay, so it flexes the DIPs. And really, all we're doing, when we're trying to test this. Now I'm going to use you, um, Jordan, rather. Uh, I ask my patient to just flex the DIP, okay? And I just say, hold. Hold, 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 okay? And I can do that for each of the digits. Hold, 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 hold. Good. Hold, 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 hold. Okay? And you can do the pinky as well. Okay? The superficial, where do you think we would apply our resistance for the superficial? Middle phalanx. Exactly. So it's the same, same, exact same thing. It flexes um, the middle phalanx. That's what it does. And what we'll do is we'll give our resistance um, right at this joint. So it flexes the IP joint, I should say, the interphalanx. Basically what it does um, is it, it extends the... Uh, Proximal phalanges. Okay. So if I'm ex if I'm working that muscle, do you ever see like a claw hand? If I just said kind of like make a claw hand, that's how we were going to test that. We asked the patient to extend the MCP joints, so ex it's extension at the MCP is what the action of this muscle is, and we're going to provide our resistance on the dorsal surface here. Resistance is on the dorsal surface of the proximal phalanx. So essentially what the lumbar cords do is they will flex the MCP joints and they extend the IP joints. So this is, this is kind of what they do. When you do this muscle test, essentially what you're doing is you're going to do it in two stages. So your first stage is basically pressing on the dorsum of the proximal, let's see, let me just make sure I get this right, um, dorsum of the middle phalanx, okay, just pushing downward, so we're basically trying to, we're trying to flex the PIP here, so if I have Jordan here, just give me this grip, there we go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push down like this, okay, so pushing, you can do them all at once, okay, so stage one is pressing on the dorsal part of the proximal phalanx toward flexion, all right, so I'm pushing downward toward flexion, all right, uh, yep. Distal or? Uh, middle, middle phalanx. Oh, middle. Yep. So I'm going to push here on the middle phalanx. Push downward on the middle, middle phalanx. See how I'm kind of creating a little fulcrum here, too? So I'm just basically doing that type of motion. Now I do that while she's maintaining this position. Okay. So stage one or step one is that, is me pushing downward here. Stage two is going to be me pushing upward at the MCP joint. So now, give me, give, me, give me that there. Here. Now what I'm doing is I am on the palmar surface or volar surface of the proximal phalanx. Okay, and I am pushing upward toward MCP. Hold it down now. Yep, there we go. Hold, 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 hold. So I am pushing upward toward MCP extension. So on this one, if I said, all right, you guys, I want you to contract your flexor digiti minima, how would you do that? Basically what that does is it flexes the, the fifth digit at the MCT joint. What I'm going to do for my resistance on this one, so I'm going to have you keep your fingers straight, bend it upward, there we go. My resistance is on the proximal phalanx, okay, so I'm pushing downward this way. It's a really small muscle. All right, so remember, when you do your muscle test, it's a small muscle, okay? So hold, 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 hold. So I'm basically pushing in the direction of MCP extension. Yep, exactly. Okay, so that's flexor digiti minima. Opponents digiti minima. Okay, this is another interesting one. This is not really, all this muscle does is it just helps to bring uh, the fifth metacarpal into, into opposition. All right, it does not flex at the MCP joint. Okay, it doesn't even cross the MCP joint. So it's more of a, um, you guys know your hypo, hypothanar eminence? If I just say, try to bring your, your fifth finger inward toward your thumb, you should be able to see that little muscle pop out. So, so what we're doing here then is we're basically going to give our resistance 
proximal to the MCP joint. We're going to we're going to give it on the distal aspect of that metacarpal. Okay, so if my patient here, I want you to try to try, try to pull your finger in this way. My resistance is here. So it's, it's not across the MCP joint, it's proximal to the MCP joint, and I'm pushing outward. So I'm basically pushing down and out.